Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Planet of the Symbiotes, issue number one of three. Let's get talk about who made this book, and I'm going to explain critically why I didn't like this book and where a huge failure happened. Okay, the first of two stories here, Scream, is Clay McLeod Chapman, who was doing the Scream story before, Gui Villanova, hope I'm not butchering names too bad, Dean White on colors, and uh, Demon Lewis doing the editing. Ravencroft was uh, also done by Frank Thierry, just like recently, Daniello S. Bayruth on art, Rachel Rosenberg doing the colors, and uh, Daniel uh, Hazim doing the editing. VCs Corey Petit doing the letters, Tony Moore doing the cover art, and a couple of variant covers out there. So we get two stories in here. With the Scream story, Scream um, has to face her old cohort, and they're fighting her, and she does her, you know, Andy Benton, Hellmark, Burn thing. She actually says Burn. And uh, they're like, ow. So they form into a glob, and they come back at her, and then she just triples her effect by going Burn, Burn, Burn. Like a, you know, the ring of fire. Yeah, that's, that's you know, cool. I think I saw that joke in the actual run. The run that failed, mind you, was canceled. A failed run. And we're just getting more of the same rehash stuff in this one. The art was absolutely out of this world amazing in this. And I really wish that uh, Villanova actually had a chance to do this on his own. I know this sounds a little bit mean, but no, I'm dead serious. I wish we can go back to the Kirby days in this regard and just have Villanova do a couple notes on the side, some things that he would like to be said, and then actually do the story that he wants to do so that then um, um, Chapman could just fill in the words, you know, appropriately. That's what I actually wish would happen here. Because I feel like Villanova was trying really hard to make this an incredible book. He thought, you know... Maybe I can actually get a, a permanent job doing this story if it's if it's somewhat good. So he clearly gave all he could, but this really just felt like an abandoned script that Chapman had done, and then the book was canceled before he got to cash in on this script. So they say, hey, you want to do a story? And he's like, yeah, here's a script. Already? Yeah. <laughs> Which is um, not very introspective, because a failed book means that, and I don't know if he really did that. I'm not trying to straw man this. I'm just saying what it feels like. Um, I feel like if your if your book was canceled and you get another chance and you want to do something amazing with it, for the love of God, go balls to the wall. Go and look at, ask your editor, why do you think this failed before? Go and ask people. Read reviews. Watch reviews. See why, contact these people if you need to. I'll talk to you, bro. I'll talk to you about why I loved the book in the beginning and then it just kind of, I fell off of it because I was just bored. The book was just boring. Um, I like I can really go into, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who go into a lot of details with it. Actually, ask somebody, ask the audience, phone a friend, something. But no, instead, it's, it just feels like a a script that you know failed, and you're just like, yeah, let's go, let's just do this. What what a good way to save some money, you know, or make some money off of something that, um, I didn't get money off of before. Whatever. Um, this book was supposed to feel like horror. Obviously, unfortunately, it wasn't. You have the father pushed or pulled whatever through the the hood of the uh through the the the, the windshield of the car and then uh, his head smashed on the the hood of the car uh, pretty gory and then the sun in the back and it's old victorian style head of this kid like villanova was killing it with this art dude uh old pre-victorian style art where the child actually looks like an adult, but in a child's body. But the face very much still looks like an adult. You know what I'm saying? Like, too much emphasis in what should otherwise be a fairly fat face, right? Um, I loved it, and it really raised the idea that this should have been a horror comic book. Instead, it was just a shock comic book. There was some gore in it, but I can't even call it something that Fangoria would pick up. This was, this was just a story that, and it didn't even end good. It's like, oh, don't worry, kid, I got your back. You know, nothing else is going to happen to you. Um, cute, but my dad is splayed out in pieces in that car, and I'm just going to walk away and not even look back, and you're not going to address it. And Like, is the kid in shock? I guess, to a degree, but I mean, for the love of God. Like, it's not even addressed. And it could have been. <sighs> then we get the second story where Null doesn't care about humans, but apparently he cares about Cletus Cassidy and Cassidy's uh, forebearer, his... Uh, whatever, his great-great-great-great-grandfather. And uh, so Null decides, you know, let's get this guy resurrected. Okay, cool. And now he's he's Plague. He's a new character. So you want a first appearance of a character. Go and buy this one. First appearance in here of a new character that might go someplace. Um, honestly, it might. I don't know. I don't really care, though. Because... 
the so-called heroes show up and you know it's a ravencroft book so of course it's the um uh john jameson jr so he's you know null guy he comes over the oh, play i'm gonna oh you guys i start coughing i'm gonna absorb your body and then it's like you know werewolf of space claws to the back and it's like oh wow that was cool and then he just starts talking and then all of a sudden <laughs> and he actually says werewolf of space that's okay and <laughs> but he just stands there after sneak attacking him he doesn't do anything to his face and then he just you know <laughs> overpowered miserably you had no chance did you i'm gonna rip out your throat no you're not you didn't cough yourself to death rip out your own throat jackass and then all of a sudden bionic uh punch to the back of the head boom it's misty knight and she's like ah you thought that i was gonna yeah 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 <laughs> why a yeah you thought that you were gonna be cool but here you go with the bionic woman yeah let's go i i, I practically expected her to be like yo or dog or something like that at the end like are you serious like that Oh, wow, that's the way you're going to write her. Okay, cool. And you've written her before. So she snuffs the guy from the back, you know, blindside. And then to her, while she starts talking, all of a sudden, <laughs> and like, oh, I'm dying. Yeah, you are. Because the so-called heroes here only did one attack each, and it was a blindside, and it didn't amount to anything. And the only reason why you survived is because the hero is like, uh, my my watch is going off. My Fitbit's going off. I have to go do some exercise right now. I'll butt up. I, I, I should have killed you. And then he leaves. Wow. You ever seen paint by numbers? You ever do the finger paints by numbers? I didn't know they made them for story. And that's exactly what happened here. I'm not trying to make any personal attacks. I am, however, criticizing the work. And this was horrible. Even with, you know, everything that... Um, like, Bayruth, I think he was trying. He was trying to do his best. And unfortunately, the the, the story just wasn't there. Um, and again, the same thing with Villanova. Here's two lousy moves. Three, if you count her turning her head. This all could have been so much better. Does anybody here argue with me that it would be great to see a, a Scream story where here's this cult following character not a major character by any stretch of the imagination but a cult following character have her in her own series where she's going around she's trying to she's andy benton but she's also and she's got the the, the hellmark curse so she'd fire 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 but then over here here's the symbiote that doesn't like fire but hey there's all this stuff going on and they actually like each other but they they, they they've got to stay underground and stuff so it's kind of like a bill bixby hulk story you know what i'm saying you're telling me that kevin feige wouldn't read the story and be like yo Guys, I need to make this into a television series and make you guys some good money off it. I'm saying, you good with that? I think everybody would be good with that. Instead, what we get is just, it feels like old scripts. And this is the same thing that I, I went after uh, this book for. And I guess I was just, like, this book wore me out on that. Gwenum versus Carnage, which it's not Carnage. And I went in deep on Sinan McGuire on that and i'm doing the exact same thing here these are writers who like the artist did a bang up job everything in this good was book uh, everything in this good was book you know what i mean everything in this book was good except um the writing it just wasn't there and it seems like they weren't interested and that's a damn shame because i know that these are guys who have talent but i think that they also just don't want to do comic books anymore. That's fine. After reading something as absolutely sad as this, not only do I have no interest in reading Planet of the Symbiotes issue two and three, I have no interest in reading anything that has their names attached to it ever again. Maybe that'll change one day if you guys, you know, because I make these reviews so that you guys know my opinions on this stuff so you can try and better gauge. And I don't just say, this book sucked or this book was cool. I actually explain stuff. So you can say, oh, well, the stuff that you're explaining, I actually like the idea of that. So, hey, let's check it out. Or, or I'm only here for the art anyway. So, hey, let's go check it out. I can give you guys some kind, you know, something to base what you're reading off of or what you want to read off of. Or, you know what I'm saying? Talk about like the way that things used to be done back in the day with all the people I've talked to. So it is what it is. This... This really just felt like people who have no interest in being in the comic book industry anymore, but they had some old scripts and they figured, ah, you know what, let me get paid for them since my book was canceled. With me, if I get another chance to write a book that was canceled, I'm going to find out what was wrong. And I'm going to do my best to get the book to be successful. 
from that point on. Apparently not everybody thinks the way that I do, though. Oh, well. That's the world we live in. Talk to you guys later. Like the video, watch an ad, and all that YouTube stuff. Talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.